primary schools of the UK. Give me a cheer. Yeah. Woo. Wow, it is a joy to be here this morning to hear all of your wonderful poetry. Jacob is right, I have worked with the wonderful Avon Moore Primary School, who you just heard from. Congratulations, you all did brilliantly. I get to perform some poetry for you today. Are you ready for some more poetry? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, because you've all got so much energy, I'm going to ask you to do a little bit of audience participation with this poem. How do we feel about that? Yeah. Okay. So it means... When I say a certain word in my poem, I need a certain response from you, right? Something similar to what we just did with Jacob with the oh my goodness, oh my gosh, okay? So when I say in my poem, estás escuchando, which is Spanish for are you listening, you're going to respond with I'm listening, all right? We're going to try that, okay? Estás escuchando. Perfect. Thank you so much. So the reason this poem, the reason this poem has got a bit of Spanish in it is because when I was working with Avon Moore Primary School, we discovered that we could add different languages into our poems. And we all got very excited about that. And I'm doing a poem, first of all, called Hear My Voice or Listen to Me, that is going to be following the same structure that a lot of our poems are Avon Moore had, okay? So, one more time, let's just test it. ¿Estás escuchando? Fantastic. I wanted to tell you why I am here on earth, why I wake up each day, why I keep striving away. I wanted to tell you how homelessness bothers me, how it hurts that we keep poisoning the sea, Estás escuchando? I wanted to tell you how I am grateful for my healthy body, how I want to protect it and others like me, how loud men on the street can scare me and news stories about them can steal my sleep. Estás escuchando? I wanted to tell you that if I were in charge for a day, we would all have free housing and fresh water to drink. But most importantly, I wanted to tell you that we each have a purpose, that you are all here for a reason, that your precious whispered dreams mean something. And I hope that you escucha. Fantastic. Thank you so much. You did really well at the end there because it was a slightly different um, grammatical phrasing of escucha. So well done. Well done for that. All right. I've got two more pieces for you. You ready? So you know on a rainy day like today, on a really cold and rainy day like today, there's a certain creature that likes to come out because they really enjoy sucking up the water from the... Yeah, snails. There's a pathway. There's a pathway near my house where lots of snails like to come out when it's raining. And unfortunately, some people don't look where they're going when they're walking along the pathway. So I... I spend a lot of my time when I come home or when I'm leaving the house picking up these snails and putting them back where they belong because I've got a lot of love for snails. Who here loves snails? Iffy? All right, maybe I can convince you. Maybe I can convince you. I wish to be a slimy snail. I want to carry my home wherever I go, and I don't mind being small or frail if being a snail means life is slow. See, I want to get away from emails, from the constant communication flow, and I know it might make more sense to wish myself whale to be hugely powerful could be fun. I know. 
But me, I wish to be a humble snail, self-contained, trailing my shiny day glow, belly down, crawling, munching on bright green kale, carrying with me just my precious shell cargo. It's an unobtrusive life, being small as a fingernail, and the home I carry is certainly no chateau, but I am never lost, you see, with my shimmering trail. And the world is so beautiful when you're quiet, when you're slow. Thank you. All right, I've got one last poem for you. Ready for one last one? All right, I need, I need a big round of applause for this one because I'm going to try and memorize it. I'm going to try to perform it from memory. So big round of applause, please. <laughs> this is for all of you for getting up today and being really, really brave on this stage. And this is for any of you who have ever been thinking about giving up. I really, really hope you don't give up on yourselves. All right, keep writing poetry. Keep sharing your voices, we need to hear them. This is for the wide-eyed wanderers, the Aquarius star-kissing water bearers, the synapse-bending, neuron-splitting truth seekers. This is for the people who still allow themselves to spill, frothy with cream or cracked and splintering this is for those of us pursuing the stupid dream, giving the mic to our hearts and our hearts to the mic. This is for every sharp glass memory smoothed down to kind allegory. This is for art and music and sweet, sweet poetry. This is for the breath that made the pulse that beat the blood that pumped the soul into being here in this moment. This is for the way home hugs you close when you find it. This is for staying persistently open-minded. This is for feet that keep dancing without music or guidance. This is for you who believes without needing evidence. This is for the hearts cracked and mended and still, still giving. This is for you who keeps your lungs expanding no matter how freezing the air has become. This is for you. And you, 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 you death-defying sums of love, determination, and truth. This is for daring to live as you. This is for getting up, and trying, and trying, and trying, and trying. Thank you so much for having me, everybody. Have a wonderful lunch. I've been Bella Cox. <laughs>